in this video let's see how to create live events in teams microsoft teams what is the difference between normal uh, meeting and the live events is in the normal meeting we will have like uh, uh, 10 members or 20 members but in live events we will ha may have more than like a thousand members and uh, there will be more presenters in the live event okay it, it must scatter to more audience so for that Microsoft Teams have a nice uh, feature just go to Microsoft Teams and go to calendar here and you can see on the right hand side there is new meeting just click that and if you go to this um, model pop up box you can see like new meeting and here there is new live meeting click new live meeting and you can see here to invite attendees copy the link once you schedule live okay so let's um, title will be let's meet up okay location if you are having configured with your company rooms the rooms will come or else just leave it and here give the time uh, uh, just like uh, something what like and here details you can provide them like uh, just uh, test live event in using microsoft teams okay and here you can invite any presenters or there the who is uh, the arranging this new live event that person will be known as producer he can invite presenters suppose uh, there are five presents presenters you can call them like here i have i'm calling few people as presenters here and uh, i can also add more than one like if you have any other visitors or any other person you can call like okay and click next after scheduling this uh, title start and end date uh, time details and uh, inviting all the presenters click next okay after clicking next like you can see uh, whether this live event uh, permissions of the live event permissions this uh, can be for any people or groups or any specific people or and this is an organization wide uh, if it is an organization wide we need sign in okay so if it is a public means no sign in is required for us sometimes this public is not enabled in our uh, uh, teams so for that you need to go to the teams admin uh, to go to the teams admin you know you go to this office.com and sign up with your account and if you're an admin you can see here admin you just click admin and you will go to the admin center of the office in the admin center there will be uh, different sharepoint teams and if you click sharepoint you will go to the dashboard of the microsoft teams admin center and if you click here the you can see so many like uh, like so many of uh, options in the meetings you can see the live event settings and live event policies just click it and here you can see uh, there is global org wide uh, policies here you can see hello scheduling hello transcription week who can join the scheduled live events you can keep here everyone who can record an event always record so these these things if you save after one or two hours your public uh, meetings public audience can be enabled okay here you can see the support url you can give here your own url uh, here just they give office url you can give your company's url for creating the live events when creating just in the live event policies you must give here who can join the schedule live events here you must uh, check uh, everyone so that uh, here the public will be enabled it will be enabled uh, not in minutes it will take some time like uh, uh, one or two hours or even one day also so after this uh, you can select you can choose so many options like whether there will be a q and a session and recording you can be given to the attendees or you can remove this so that once uh, the recording is done only it, it can be with you only you cannot share with attendees uh, if you want to share with attendees recording you can click this and if there is any q and a session you can give here in the here your url can be customized you can give your company's url okay and uh, coming to this uh, let's schedule 
on public event click schedule okay let's wait and uh, it's telling it's like uh, at, at attendee link this link must be shared with all our attendees let's see this how this uh, uh, link will be so this link will be here I pay, uh, you can just get click this one and copy to click the board and uh, so this is a link for the uh, you can make it short link by using bit.ly website okay and share this link to all the attendees and once it is done we can just click let's uh, click here join and see what else we can explore in this live events so join now i can see here it is joining me as a producer since i am an admin for this teams you can see here so many things like uh, uh, live event and uh, queue and uh, send live so suppose if you have a content uh, you can drag the content here and uh, and that can be uh, like uh, it will be in the queue and once if you click send live it will come to the right side window and once it is come to me i can click start and it will go live to all the people okay suppose if i share something here some my desktop or something uh, page meeting uh, i shared here and uh, this content you can like add video from below see if i click this it came here now and if i if i want to make it live i will click send live and it will push this to the start and here the producer it means like me admin will click start and this will go live to all the people now okay and uh, are sure want to continue start live event now if you click continue and it will go it's live now okay so this is how you can create uh, live events in microsoft teams and you can end this by clicking and and live event will be ending so this is how microsoft teams is giving a nice facility for all of us to create live events when you have when you want to host a live event with more than 10 presenters or if you have any company wide events uh, you want to share with all the public you can use this facility this is a nice future in microsoft teams thanks for watching